Are you looking to find emails from a specific domain or verify emails? Well, that is possible with Hunter.io. It's actually one of my favorite free tools. Now it has some limitations with the limit that you can use monthly for free, but it's actually pretty cool and it's super easy to use with their Chrome extension. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up everyone, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today I want to show you Hunter IO. I'm using the free version and if you guys wanna use the free version, basically there's only limitations on the amount of emails they can find and the emails you can verify per month. If you're good with the free version, well, you don't have to pay anything, but if you need bigger limitations, you'll need to jump into the paid plan. Now, one of the things I like about it is the Chrome extension because it makes it really easy to find emails on the domain that you are on. Now. Hunter.io uses, uses several algorithms to find emails, like the most common extensions like info, accounting, sales, at the domain.com. And it also uses, for example, it grabs information from other sources, from other websites pointing to that website. So it knows that that email might be useful. So if 30 blogs are talking about that specific domain and it has that email as the contact, it'll give you the results. And it uses several algorithms to find emails. It's one of the best tools to find emails out there, okay? So let me show you a quick example. I have the Chrome extension installed. You can see it's pretty popular. It has a, the five-star rating, more than 500,000 plus users using this extension. So I already have it installed. Here's AppSumo. It's a domain I go to almost every day. And if I click on the extension, it's gonna give me a list of emails that might be used for this domain. So in case I want to contact these people from this domain, this is going to help me because I have the email right here. Now, for example, you can see it has name and it has the founder because it grabbed the information from Twitter. So like I mentioned before, different sources, even social media. You can see this is the domain. I can click on it and it'll copy it and I can start my email. There's a little green little dot right here, which gives me a percentage score. That means that the probabilities of this email being real are 94%, which is really high, right? I can also see where the sources are from. Like I mentioned before, if different websites, blogs are talking about this specific domain with that email, it's showing me the sources, okay? So that means that the probabilities of this email being real are pretty high. So those are different type of algorithms that Hunter IO uses, and that's why I like it, especially because it's a Chrome extension. I go to the domain, click on it, and I grab the email from here. Now you can see there's different emails. There's the extension ones, like the popular ones, like support, briefcase, etc. I can see more results, and it'll open up the dashboard, and I can view the whole list right here. I can also grab these emails from the extension and I can send them over to my Hunter IO account. So for example, I already added these two, but if I wanna add support, I'll click on it and it'll save that lead on my Hunter IO account. I can actually start an email campaign from Hunter IO if I want to send emails from there, okay? So that's the ones that I've added already. You can see I am using three out of 25 searches because those are my limitations per month. You can view those on your dashboard, click on it here, and you can see three out of 25 searches, and I have one out of 50 verifications that I can use. These are free, they reset every month, and I'm not paying anything for it. So it's pretty useful that we have this available. Now, if you need to jump to a higher plan, these are the plans that they have right here. So they start off at $49 in case you don't want to use the free version and you need bigger limitations. Now, if you wanna use the email campaign service, that is free when sending individual emails. But if you wanna bulk send, then you'll need to jump into the paid plan. So that's one of the things that we can do, it's search for domains. So if I search for one of my domains right here, I'll click start, let me go, oh, SAS, um, yeah, that's my domain, SASM, let's go, and it'll find it, info at sasm.com, that is a real email I use. So I can view that there. I can also type in another domain if I like or go to the domain and use the Chrome extension, okay? There's the email finder. So if I wanna use it based on the name, I'll put the full name and the domain and then I'll try to find the different tri type of prob probabilities of a real email. Like, I don't know, um, one letter for the last name and dot, dot, dot name, which are popular uh, types of using emails or the first name and the domain, and then I'll use that algorithm to find the possible domain, the email, okay? You can also do author finder, and you can use this, all this in the free version, okay? 
There's the email verifier. If you want to verify emails just to make sure that they're, they are actually real emails, which we'll do. Let's grab this email right here. Let's grab this email from Noah. I'll click on it, it'll copy it. Let's put it in the email verifier, verify. And here's the information. So this email, let me click on that. Its format is valid, valid service status is valid. Type, it's professional because it's not a free email. And the email status is accept all. So that means that this email accepts all emails coming to it, okay? So these are the sources that it's found from. It was removed from these sources. So it was added before, but now it's removed. And you can see all that information there. There's also the bulk option if you want to bulk, domain search, email finder, author finder, email verifier. There's the leads. Remember, I added one of these leads from the Chrome extension and it added it right here for me. So I can keep track of the leads that I've added here. And what if I want to send a campaign? I'll go into campaigns and I can start a brand new campaign. Remember, on the free version, you can send by individual domains without limitations. So it's one by one email. You can't bulk send a campaign on the free version. But I mean, it's free, you're not paying for anything. And if you wanna use the campaigns from here, that is possible. I mainly use Hunter IO for the email finder and the Chrome extension. I mean, that thing's a beauty. You go into a domain and you try to find email and it'll find it. Here I'm on base role, for example, and here's the email. So it's pretty useful if you wanna contact companies that you don't have their data and their data is not available on the website. So it kind of searches with those algorithms and try to find that email for you. So, but there it is. That is Hunter IO. I mean, you're good to go with the free version in case you don't need more limitations than what it provides on the free version. Well, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next videos.